your KRCG 13 storm vision forecast with Zach Paul. We'll find clear skies across the area this evening and the fairly mild weather that we've had this afternoon will continue overnight. We'll end up in the 40s tomorrow morning. Those are still going to be above average, right around 47 degrees. I think will do it for a lot of the area. That average low is around 39 degrees, so not a bad start. Above average, light winds out of the south. Not much in the way of cloud cover across the area here this afternoon. Just a few thin clouds here and there. Otherwise, virtually cloud free skies here through most of the afternoon and all that sunshine has allowed temperatures to really warm into the 70s or at least right around 70 degrees here for most of us pretty close in Lynn at 69 Vandalia right now 68 degrees an abundance of 70s in a couple areas a little warmer Dixon right now you are at 71 degrees pretty over the lake this afternoon blue skies on our quick car cam at the lodge of four seasons water temperature still a little bit cool but it's days like today that really starts to make you start thinking a little bit more about spring and summer and of course river and lake season are coming up here before you know it 72 degrees currently at the lake with winds right now out of the south at 10 miles per hour again a fairly pleasant afternoon all across the midwest here especially across the show we state again just a few thin clouds here and there closest amount of rain you got to go pretty much up to chicago and even up to areas uh, through wisconsin so again pretty quiet skies around the midwest all due to high pressure high pressure is a sinking air mass it does not allow for clouds to rise and because of its current location we're on the back side of that system so we're seeing southerly winds and that trend will continue we will find a quick little wind shift, I think, as we go through the day on your Tuesday. The hour-by-hour -hour forecast keeps southerly winds overnight, but we will find area high pressure dropping in from Canada. That will be brief as we go through the day on Tuesday. Notice by Tuesday morning, it's starting to make more of a turn to the northwest. As high pressure continues to build in, as that happens, though, especially Tuesday and into Wednesday, once again, we'll be on the back side of this system and winds on the back side of this system come from the south. So south winds will return again on your Wednesday. It'll be another warm afternoon. It will also feed us a little bit more moisture as we go through the day on your Wednesday. I think we'll start to feel maybe a little bit humid and we'll start to find chances for rain returning beginning late Wednesday evening into the day on Thursday. So the pollen levels that are up there may be causing those allergy problems that you're having. We will find slightly improved conditions by the end of the week. In the meantime, tonight, clear skies, a little cool. Temperatures down into the mid to upper 40s tomorrow morning. It'll be a pretty pleasant start for the afternoon. Sunny and mild. High temperatures are going to climb into the low and mid 70s. It'll be a pretty nice afternoon with southwest winds for the most part up to 10 miles per hour, but that will shift to the northwest late in the day. Here is that seven day forecast again up to around 74 tomorrow with sunshine. Winds on Wednesday are going to pick up. I think we could find a couple areas reaching 80 degrees into the low 80s on Wednesday with mostly sunny skies. And then by late Wednesday, we'll find a few more clouds. Rain moving in overnight as we go through the day on your Thursday. Notice we're still above average through Thursday. We'll find some active weather through the second half of the week. A few thunderstorms possible on Thursday. Not looking like severe weather at this time, but does look like we will find some rain that'll help clean out the air. Cooler with some rain on Friday into the 50s, and then we're back into the 60s for the weekend. Not a bad weekend there, of course. Easter coming up this weekend. Of course, mm -hmm. kids wanting to go on Easter egg hunts, things like that. Looks like we'll have a couple J's of some dry weather for that ground to not really become so muddy, so that way the kids don't have to ruin any of their Easter gowns or dresses, anything like that. There have been many cold, rainy Easters in past years. This, this will not be one. This will not be one. Right. That's very good.